Chapter 5. Covenant Actions for the Nations Old Slash New. In the beginning, God formed heaven and earth, then he created day and night. God then divided the waters into clouds and seas. He then created land, grass, herbs, and fruit trees. God used heaven to form signs for seasons, days, and years. He then created creatures and called them animals, for some to live on earth, and some to fly up to heaven. Genesis 1.1-25 Events, The Forming of Man and Woman, Genesis 1.26-2.25 1. Man was made in God's image. Man would have authority over the earth and every living thing, he was to dominate the animals. 2. Woman was made in man's image. 3. God blessed them and said, Be fruitful, multiply and repopulate the earth. 4. God blessed the seventh day and sanctified it for a day of rest. 5. God put breath into a man then he became a living soul. God made the garden of Eden and man became a tiller of the garden. There he made two types of trees of life, good and evil, also a river. This was located in Ethiopia. 6. God had forbidden man to eat of the knowledge the tree of good and evil. 7. God gave the animals names and made man help meet for the Garden of Eden. A man would leave his father and mother, to cleave to his wife and become one flesh. Eden Covenant, Innocence Dispensation, Genesis 3:1-21. 1. God made the serpent subtler than any other animal. 2. The woman wasn't to eat of every tree in the garden. 3. Adam and Eve ate the forbidden fruit, God cursed the serpent. The serpent was cursed more than any of the other animals of the kingdom. It walked on his belly and ate dust. 4. God put bitterness, enmity, between the serpent and woman, and the woman and her child. 5. The women would endure pain during conception. The woman would desire the husband and he would rule over her. 6. God cursed the ground, thorns and thistles came from the ground. Green herbs were their food. 7. God clothed Adam and Eve. Eve covenant came to an end. Genesis 3:1-8. Adam Covenant, Conscience Dispensation, Genesis 3:2-4:25. 1. Adam was to know good and evil. If he hadn't eaten from the tree of life to live forever and ever, God would have sent him out of the garden. And man would have only been allowed to labor in the Garden of Eden. There were two types of trees, the knowledge tree of good and evil and the tree of life. 2. Sin ruled over man once Cain killed his brother Abel. 3. God cursed Cain's land not to harvest when he planted fruit seeds. Cain was to become a fugitive. A vagabond of the earth. God put a mark on Cain, if anyone killed him vengeance would have been sevenfold on them. 4. God blessed Adam and Eve with another son named Seth, to replace Abel the son Cain had killed. As an unconditional covenant, it is very much in effect today. God told Noah to build an ark. Noah took his wife, his sons, their wives, and the animal kingdom onto the ark. After that, a forty-day flood came and destroyed the human race, except Noah's family. God destroyed every living thing because all flesh had corrupted its way upon the face of the earth. It was filled with lusts of the flesh, cancer, diseases, and violence. Noah Covenant Human Government Dispensation, Genesis 6 14-9 17 1. Noah was made a representative of the animal kingdom and the entire human race. 2. God blessed Noah and his family to become fruitful and multiply, to repopulate the earth. After the flood, there were only eight individuals left. Noah and his wife, his two sons, and their wives, and his father and grandfather were accompanied by living animals. 3. Noah built an altar for burnt offerings. 4. Noah was to put fear into the animal kingdom and dominate them. 5. Man's diet would now include animals and herbs. 6. Man was forbidden to neither eat nor drink blood. When animals and humans shed blood it symbolizes life, but when you shed blood, to eat or drink it symbolizes death. 7. Capital punishment was established all murders were to be executed. 8. God promised not to destroy the animal kingdom, earth, and human life again with a universal flood. 9. The rainbow was a sign of the covenant God made with Noah. As an unconditional covenant, it is very much in effect today. This is an everlasting covenant. Abraham Covenant, Promise Dispensation, Genesis 12 colon 1-18 15. 1. God promised Abraham, he would make a great nation from him and he would make his name great. He was promised the land of Canaan. 2. Abraham was to become greatly blessed and enabled to bless others. 3. God promised Abraham he would bless those who blessed him and curse those who cursed him. 4. Abraham built an altar for burnt offerings. 5. Abraham conceived a son with the handmaid because Sarah couldn't bear a child. God promised to make Abraham exceedingly fruitful. 6. His name was to be changed from Abram means exalted father to Abraham means father of a multitude. 7. Circumcision was to become a sign of Jewish traditions, it was to show a blood covenant to be passed on throughout generations. 8. Sarah's original name meaning is my princess, 
was changed to Sarah meaning the princess. 9. God promised Abraham, his wife Sarah would bear him a child. As an unconditional covenant, it is very much in effect today. This was an everlasting covenant. Moses' covenant, law dispensation, Genesis 1 28, 32 33, Exodus 12 35, Numbers 5 35, Leviticus 1 27, Deuteronomy 1 3, Galatians 5 3, Hebrews 10 1 4. 1. The entire law included the 613 commandments of these 365 were forbidden things, 248 were things was to be done. 2. The blessings and judgments of the laws meaning blessings for obedience and judgment for disobedience. 3. The blood sacrifice was the purpose of the Moses laws. The atonement covered up sin. The blood of the Son of God was to remove sin. 4. The diet restriction imposed. 5. The death penalty was expanded it added adultery, cursing God, or parents, breaking the Sabbath, idolatry, and witchcraft. 6. The sign of the covenant was circumcision. The obligation was to keep the entire law. 7. The token of the covenant was the Sabbath or seventh day. A sign Israel had been set apart from God. Laws from the Old Testament, agriculture and animal husbandry, blessing and prayer, brotherhood and love, business practices, clothing, court and judicial procedure, criminal laws and laws, damages and injuries, dietary laws, employees, servants and slaves, family, divorce and marriage, firstborn, Gentiles treatment, God, high priest, levites and priests, impurity and ritual purity, jubilee years and sabbatical, king Nazarites and wars, lepers and leprosy, offerings and sacrifices, poor and unfortunate, property and property rights, prophecy, punishment and restitution, relations, forbidden sexual, seasons and times, signs and symbols, the temple, sacred objects and the sanctuary, tithes, taxes and tirumah Hebrew offerings, vows, oaths and swearing. It was conditional and came to an end with the Messiah. Palestinian Land Covenant, Millennium, Dispensation, Deuteronomy 29,1, 30,20. 1. Israel's Final Restoration. 2. Israel was to repent. 3. The Lord thy, God was to return. 4. Israel was to be regathered. 5. Israel was to possess the promised land. 6. Israel was to regenerate. 7. Enemies of Israel were to be judged. 8. Israel was to receive blessings. As an unconditional covenant, it's very much in effect today. David Covenant, 2 Samuel 7 11-16-1 Chronicle 17 10-15. 1. God promised to make David an eternal heir to the nation of Israel a dynasty. 2. God established the kingdom to one of David's descendants. 3. This descendant would build a house for God's name, a temple. 4. The descendant's throne would be eternal. 5. Solomon's disobedience would bring chastening, but it wouldn't nullify the promise. 6. The Son of God would come from the seed of David. 7. The Son of God's kingdom would last forever, he would remove sin. As an unconditional covenant. It's very much in effect today. Jesus Christ Covenant, Grace Dispensation, Leviticus 19:18, Isaiah 59:21, 61:8-9, Jeremiah 31:31-34, 32:41, Ezekiel 34 colon 25 dash 27, 36 colon 27, 37 colon 26 dash 28, Mark 7 19, John 15 12, Romans 8 colon 2 comma 14 colon 5 dash 20, Galatians 6 colon 2, Colossians 2 16. 1. Made by God and both houses of Israel. The entire Jewish nation the descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. 2. It was to replace the Moses covenant was broken. 3. It promised the blessings of salvation and regeneration of Israel. 4. The regeneration was to be universal among all Jews. It was to succeed through two generations for all to know God. 5. Provisions for the forgiveness of sins, something the Moses covenant was unable to do. 6. The need for a dwelling of the heavenly spirit, in the people's souls. Individuals lacked the strength to comply with the righteous standards of God. 7. Israel was to be showered with material blessings. The Moses Covenant didn't provide a material blessing for obedience, given by God. 8. The sanctuary was to be rebuilt. 9. The Resurrection Covenant contains the laws of the Messiah. And the laws of the Messiah contain many individual commandments that apply to New Testament believers. 9. Of the commandments of the Moses laws remain of which are different but intensified. There is no Sabbath law and no dietary code. The motivation quote of Jesus, you have been blessed so, do. Most importantly it shows how the Jewish Covenant extends to the Gentiles. The Gentiles are in debt to the Jews, they pay the debt by ministering to them in gifts of material things. The Gentiles' obligations are in Scripture. Romans 15 25-27, 1 
the Jesus Christ covenant concerning the church is the basis of the dispensation of grace and is still current. Conclusion This covenant originated with Jeremiah mainly it was to fulfill what was promised. The old covenant laws given by Moses were a shadow, it only covered sin which was unbearable to live by. The new covenant's purpose was for nations to be saved through Jesus Christ by faith and to have their sins forgiven. This enables them to be led by the Holy Spirit of Jesus Christ with grace. The promise is for all mankind to inherit eternal life in the kingdom of God which is earth. The church started Jewish and became mixed up with Gentiles over the years. Most today aren't accurately able to say they are a Gentile or Jew. With there being only one God in most modern day churches thus, no need for separation from God. This covenant of grace is often referred to as the church age, it is commonly known as the era Jesus is building his church. The nation needs from the 2033 new covenant. 1. Men need to wholeheartedly take care of their kids and stand for what they believe is the truth. 2. Fewer addictions to alcohol, fats, illegal drugs, material stuff, sodium, sugar, and prescription medications. 3. Fewer killings for a sinful sacrifice. 4. The entire human race acceptance of all God's creations. 5. Value of human flesh purification, belief in the power of the resurrection. 6. Value for gardening of fresh fruits and vegetables. 7. Healthier food products of cattle, fish, and poultry. 8. Acknowledgement for repentance once again. 9. Acknowledgement for children receiving their inheritance before age 30. 10. To make continual peace with foreign countries. 11. Reduce wasteful products and wasteful spending by 100%. 12. Fruitful presidents and shorten term in office, 4 years no new term. 13. The lands to be revitalized by 100%. 14. A 100% proof new living God. God's plan for dietary deficiency business. Human health has been deteriorating since doctors have been recommending reoccurring hospital visits and surgery as their overall plan to better health. Although individuals believe doctors and leaders are misleading consumers and patients into wasteful spending for the pursuit of greed. Society has created highly regarded medical inventions and medicines that aren't getting the job done long term wise. When nutritional guidance has been the most prevalent option since the beginning of time. The majority of people don't even know what dietary deficiencies are. There is not enough acknowledgement of dietary deficiencies with the rich or poor, all could benefit financially and health-wise. This type of business would be to provide scientific evidence by analyzing customers' dietary deficiencies as a daily business. Once they have evidence of their dietary deficiencies, they can be accountable for healing from cancers, diseases, disorders, depression, obesity, and much more. People need to benefit long-term wise after eating the necessary natural foods or taking vitamins. Once there are healthier people, more jobs can be created, without healthier individuals jobs were eliminated. This is so people don't pay regular doctors a ton of money just to live. The fruit trees were to heal the nation long before doctors existed otherwise, the world turns into wastelands with no regard to natural resources. The plan will enable society, doctors, government, the White House, Republicans, Democrats, and leaders to put aside differences and get together, to help dietary deficiency businesses flourish. A dietary deficiency business can bring in great quantities of money in the future, and with help from leaders, there are finances to obtain. Analyzing the animal's dietary deficiencies is needed, but not in the same establishment as humans. This would be to advocate for healthier animal food production.